Espen Merlum, Associate Director and Head of Energy Industries at the World Economic Forum. You've co-authored a report with Accenture entitled Accelerating Smart Grid Investments, which puts forward smart grids as a key to solving the growing energy puzzle. First of all, what exactly are smart grids and why are they so key? Let me start by saying that uh, climate change and growing energy needs is putting our electricity system under increasing stress. Uh, we're now in a point in time where energy efficiency is going to be key. Consumers are asking for more information about their energy use and ways to reduce it. Renewable energy is coming more and more and needs to be integrated into the electricity systems. Today's systems are very old. The basic architecture of, of them are very, very old. Thomas Edison would actually have probably recognized today's electricity systems and maybe even to, able to operate them. Uh, so they're in need for upgrade. Smart grids seems like a technical notion. Simply put, it's the integration of new technologies in the information and telecommunication field with the electricity system to make it more uh, intelli intelligent, more efficient, uh, and offer better services both to companies but also to consumers. Can you just explain a little bit more about mm. how smart grids actually work? Mm. Smart grids uh, generates a lot more information about what's happening out in the system from every point of generation of electricity down to the very end consumer. So ima imagine you're a consumer. You would know uh, how much electricity you're using at any point in time, what's the price for it, and how you can, uh, how you can reduce uh, the cost and maybe also the carbon impact of your uh, electricity consumption. Uh, likewise, uh, companies would have much more information about what's happening in the system and be able to optimize that in a, on a real-time basis and offer new services to their customers. So what are the kinds of recommendations that this report is making for the implementation of smart grids? Mm -hmm. uh, smart grid is now in a very early stage. A uh, number of stakeholders are looking at uh, this now and trying to better understand what is smart grids, what can it do for it, for us, and uh, what are the benefits. But also there are a number of barriers uh, and this report is an attempt to, to, to pull together a lot of the knowledge that is out there and define smart grids and look at the barriers, what are they, define them and look at strategies how they can be overcome. So you mentioned barriers there, what, what, what are the main ones? The main ones I would say uh, there's a lack of awareness of what smart grid is. There are some technology risks and, uh, and some cost issues but the main barrier I, I would say is around policy and, and actually the incentives uh, to, uh, to invest in something like smart grids. Because consider an electric company today, they're not incentivized to produce less electricity. Uh, you need to turn that around. Uh, companies need to be incentivized to produce as little and as clean electricity as possible. And the number of models that can, uh, can be applied and some, uh, some key principles. Uh, the solutions are going to look different from region to region, from company to company. And uh, I think also uh, this can be tried out in pilot projects. Uh, we have seen examples like in Boulder in the US where a city has taken the lead uh, and actually implemented end-to-end -end smart grids. We need to see more of those pilot projects happening and we need to, to, uh, to drive the thinking on the policy side.